بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سٹوڈنٹس وی آر اسٹڈینگ نیو سلیبس میتھمیٹکس اٹس بک ٹو اینڈ چیپٹر نمبر فور ٹوڈے از اوور لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی ٹو ان دس لیسن وی ول اسٹڈی فیکٹرائزیشن یوزنگ اسپیشل الجبرائک آئیڈینٹیز ارلیئر ان دی پریویس لیسنز وی اسٹڈی ایڈ فیکٹرائزیشن آف کوارڈریٹک ایکسپریشن نو دس از اینادر ٹائپ آف ایکسپریشن which uh, we will uh, factorize uh, by using special algebraic identities now we know this is first algebraic identity it is the square of the sum of two terms a plus b or first term plus second term uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square when we expand this uh, we get a square plus 2ab plus b square we know that factorization is the reverse of uh, expansion this is the expansion of this expression and when we will factorize uh, this expression we will get this type of uh, expression this identity can also be written in this form that is right hand side can be written in on the left hand side now we will be given uh, this type of expression in which uh, there will be three terms two of them will be perfect square two terms can be written as a perfect square earlier in the previous quadratic expression there uh, the uh, there were also three terms but it was not necessary that two of uh, the three terms are perfect square but in this uh, case two terms will be perfect square and the third one will all will be the double product of those two terms this is the second identity this can also be written in this uh, form you will be given an expression of this type there will be three terms in the expression two of uh, them can be written as a whole uh, square perfect square and uh, third one will be the double product of the two so we will uh, first uh, write uh, the given expression in this uh, form and then that uh, form will be written in this form so these will be the factorization third identity is this the product of two brackets such that the first term and second term of the two bracket are same then its expansion is square of the first term minus square of the second term this can also be written as now we will be given expression of this type there will be two terms between them there will be negative sign and both of the two terms can be written as a perfect square so when we are able to write each term as a A perfect square then we will factorize write the factors by taking uh, the terms under square and uh, subtracting and adding uh, those two terms and uh, multiply now factorization using algebraic identity this is uh, the type of the expression you will be given an expression of this type and you will be asked to factorize so what how we will uh, factorize we will write the first term as a perfect square a square a square is the square of a first term will be written as a perfect square then we will write this plus 2 and we will leave two empty brackets and write the third term as a perfect square b square now in the first empty bracket we will write this term which is under first square and in the second empty bracket we will write this term which is under square this and then we will write this expression as a perfect square like this the term under the first square sign with two and term under the second square so the factors of uh, this expression are a plus b whole square similarly this is an expression which is of same type but there is the only difference that uh, in this uh, expression there is plus sign with 2 and there is negative sign with the uh, 2 so this will also be written uh, like this we will write first term as a perfect square minus 2 and 2 empty brackets plus square of the second uh, term and in the first uh, bracket we will write uh, the term under first square and in the second bracket we will write term under second square a and b and this is the expansion of what 
a minus b whole square so these are the factors of this type of expression a square minus b square this is the third type of identity and third type of expression in this third type there are two terms only there is negative sign between two terms and both the terms can be written as a perfect square a square minus b square a square is the square of a b square is the square of b we will write these two term as a perfect square like this a square minus b square and now we will add the terms under square once and then we will subtract these two terms a minus b and a plus b are the factors of this type of expression now there may be any term for a and b first term third term and second term two terms will be perfect square third will be the double product of the two and uh, in the third identity there are two terms between these two terms uh, there is negative sign and both the terms are perfect square now let's solve some uh, questions by using these identities these are the three identities we are going to solve the questions of exercise 4c question number one is factorize each of the following expressions completely factorize this is a part now look there are three terms in this expression a square which can be written as a perfect square we can find our letter or number whose square is a square 49 is also uh, can also be written as a perfect square 49 is the square of a number which is 7 so these two terms can be written as a perfect square this is the double product how we will do we will first write this term as a perfect square that is a square is the square of a then there is plus sign we will write plus 2 plus 2 and 2 empty brackets and then we will write this 49 as a perfect square and this is plus 7 whole square 7 square is equal to 40 now in the first bracket we will write this term and in the second bracket we will write this term 7 this completes our uh, formula a square plus 2 a b plus b square so this is the expansion of a plus b whole square a plus b a is the term which is under first square b is the term which is under second square so this is a plus b whole square so when you will expand this you will get this expression and its factors are a plus b a plus 7 whole square or this can be written as a plus 7 into 8 a plus 7 c square plus 2 cd plus d square c square is the square of c then plus 2 and 2 empty brackets plus d square d square is the square of d in the first uh, bracket we will write c in the second bracket we will write d and uh, this is the square of c plus d so c plus d whole square are the factors of this expression 4h square plus 20h k k h plus 25k square now these are two terms first and third term which are which can be written as a perfect square 4h square 4h square is uh, the now this expression can be written as this 4h square is the square of 2h 4h square can be written as the square of 2h then plus 2 and 2 empty brackets then plus 25k square 25k square is the perfect square of 5k now in the first bracket we will write 2h and the second bracket we will write 5k and this is the square of 2h plus 5k 2h plus 5k whole square so these are the factors of this expression now this is question number two in this uh, question the only difference is uh, the sign in the previous question there was a plus sign and in this question there is negative so it is the second identity 169 n square minus 52 n plus 4 
we will write this first term as a perfect square which is the square of 13n then minus 2 empty brackets then plus 2 square 4 is the square of 2 in the first bracket we will write 13n in the second bracket we will write 2 and this is the square of 13n minus 2 whole square now 81 minus 180 p plus 100 p square 81 is the square of 9 so 81 can be written as a 9 square minus 2 and 2 empty brackets then plus 100 p square 100 p square is the square of 10 p in the first bracket we will write 9 in the second bracket we will write 10 p and this completes the square now this expression is the square of 9 minus 10 p 49 q square minus 42 q r plus 9 r square we will write this expression in this form this form second identity 49 q square 49 q square is the square of 7 q minus 2 2 empty brackets and 9 r square 9 r square is the square of 3 r in the first bracket we will write 7 q in the second bracket we will write 3 r and this will become the square of 7 q minus 3 r like this question number 3 now look in this uh, question there are two terms there is negative sign and both the terms can be written as a perfect square so this is uh, the case of second identity we will write two uh, terms as a perfect square x square is the square of x minus 144 is the square of 12 x square minus 12 whole square now this is a square minus b square a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b so we will subtract these two terms under uh, square once and then we will add these two terms so x the factors of uh, this expression will be x minus 12 and x plus 12 similarly 36 t square is the square of 60 25 is the square of 5 so this is 6 t square minus 5 square that is a square minus 5 square so the factors of this will be 6t minus 5 uh, sorry 3t 6t minus 5 and 3t plus 5 similarly this part 225 225 is the square of 15 49 u is the square of 7u so 225 can be written as 15 square minus 49 u square can be written as 7 u so this can also be written as 15 minus 7 u 15 plus 7 u these are the factors of this expression in d part 49 w square 49 is the square of 7 w square is the square of w so this whole term can be written as 7 w square square of 7 w minus 81 x square 81 is the square of 9 x square is the square of x so this whole term can be written as 9x whole square now this is a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b into a plus b in this case it is 7w minus 9x 7w plus 9x in question number 4 there are numbers involved now no letters but numbers without using calculator evaluate each of the following now this uh, expression arithmetic expression is the type of this second identity a square minus b square between these two squares there is negative sign 59 whole square minus 41 whole square 59 is a 41 is b so this can be written as a minus b that is we can write this as 59 whole square minus 41 whole square and 59 minus 41 59 plus 41 now we will evaluate this also 59 minus 41 is 18 and 59 plus 41 is 100 so 18 multiplied by 100 is 1800 
similarly there are two squares these two are also uh, are also already written in this form a square minus b square form so this can be written as 7.7 .7 whole square minus 2.3 whole square now a square minus b square and this can be written as 7 minus 7.7 uh, 7 .7 minus 2.3 and 7.7 .7 plus 2.3 7.7 .7 minus 2.3 is equal to 5.4 and 7 plus 7.5 7 plus 2.3 is equal to 10 multiplying these two we will get 54 so this is what uh, these questions are all about factorization using special and algebraic identity so there are three types of identity these questions can also be solved by using the factorization of quadratic expression if possible this is my profile and my whatsapp channel is the mathematics teacher Zahid Hussain you are requested to subscribe this channel and click the like or dislike icon button practice makes knowledge perfect thank you for watching allah hafiz